Welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. In this video, I'm going to address the topic again of the new calculus derivative and why it works for any function. Okay. And I'm going to start off by looking at some of the criticisms and I'm going to look at uh, one criticism in particular. So let's begin. Now, uh, on the site of James R. Mayer, now you know that I've, I've actually shown you that this guy's an absolute moron and doesn't know what he's talking about, and I'm not the only one. If you look at the comments on his website, you'll see that he's a bit of a numbskull. But anyway, the statement I'm going to focus on is this here. So yes, unless you can prove for the general case what an auxiliary equation is for any formula and prove that the derivative for any formula is given by setting it to zero, your vague assertions are rambling bullshit. <laughs> well, now I've already done that, by the way. I did that a long time ago and I've actually responded to Meyer, but he wouldn't publish my comments. Uh, but that's all right because they're published on my website and I've got a video which actually uh, has those responses that I made to James R. Meyer. But anyway, He's not important. Uh, what's important is that you understand. Now, on my website, I have this proof here, and it's been there for many, many, many years. In fact, it's been there a long time, and that proved to you that uh, the formula will work for any particular function, okay? Now, uh, also some time ago, I showed you uh, this particular applet here, where I explain to you that for any tangent line, it doesn't matter how the curve is uh, constructed, whether it's concave up or concave down or, any, or anything else, we can construct similar triangles, okay? And we can see that using the new calculus definition, the derivative is always the same, okay? The derivative is k. And you'll notice this value here, 1.245. It's the derivative, all right? It's the slope of the tangent line. And just to show you that this is a little, uh, to make it a little more clear for you, I've chosen another curve because in this particular applet here, I used a quadratic curve. So here's a cubic, okay? And notice that I don't even care about what the function is, okay? Watch this. 10.952 is approximately the slope of the tangent line, okay? You see it never changes. Never, ever, ever. See that? And now how is it determined? It's determined by these similar triangles. You see this similar triangle here? And this big one? That's right. And so uh, the ratio of the slope, the ratio for the slope is 9.904 approximately divided by 0 0.904 or any one of these ratios here. And all of this works because of that incredible proposition of Euclid's. Uh, proposition 12 of book five. While it doesn't state anything about similar triangles, the only way Euclid reaches those conclusions is from what I'm showing you here. And I was the first to reveal this in human history. Okay. This is something that I haven't revealed in the past, but this is, this would have been part of my unpublished work. If, if it were to, if it were to be published, it would be included. Okay. So this here, doesn't care what the function is. <clears throat> in fact, it doesn't even need numbers, all right? And I showed you some time ago also that you can do all the operations of arithmetic using proposition 12 without even knowing what the numbers are, okay? So if you wanted to multiply, let's say three by two, three by two, do that, then this red line will give you the product always, okay? And likewise, if you wanted to divide, then you'd say six divided by three is two or six divided by two is three. And uh, this would be the abstract unit that you choose. It doesn't matter what unit you choose. Uh, now, notice I've put in numbers there, but the numbers don't really matter. 
in this case. The numbers are uh, assigned because we want to be able to deal with these uh, distances in algebra, okay? So you wouldn't have algebra, by the way, if it weren't for Proposition 12 and Book 5. And guess what? Proposition 12 and Book 5 says nothing about numbers. It's all about magnitudes. Did you get that? I suggest you go and study that proposition, okay? And learn it well so that you can uh, gain a deep understanding in mathematics. So coming back to this here, as you can see, these slopes here do not change because these are similar triangles, okay? You see that? It doesn't matter whether it's, it's a small little triangle or a big one. Now, if you, you, you cannot do this, by the way. You cannot move the point over to the uh, point of tangency because then this is no longer defined. This is only defined for a parallel secant line, okay? It doesn't, in fact, if, if these two points had to coincide, you'd, you'd no longer have a parallel secant line and it would make no sense to talk about zero over zero. Uh, no finite difference quotient is defined at the point of tangency. It's a fallacy, uh, but you're lucky because I was able to discover the new calculus, and now you no longer need the bullshit of limits and real analysis and first order logic and infinity and infinitesimals. It's all based on sound analytic geometry. That's all you need. And what I'll do is I'll put a link to these applets so that you can play around with them. Uh, now, obviously, while I've used numbers here, that's not the proof of this. Uh, the proof is actually given also on my website. Okay. And this is the proof that it will work for any function. So I've been through this before and I'm not going to go over it, over it again because you can read it on my website. And I think this may very well be the last time I ever discuss the new calculus derivative uh, because it is now established knowledge. And I think I'll try to focus more on the new calculus integral uh, in future episodes, try to simplify that for the bunch of you orangutans and help you to understand it better. So uh, that's it for this video. I am the great John Gabriel, discoverer of the first and only rigorous formulation of calculus in human history. It is possible that more advanced alien civilizations already know of it. This is the New Calculus Channel. Till next time, goodbye.